I've made my way over to the tiger area of the Big Cat Sanctuary. There are five tigers, two Sumatran tigers, one Amur tiger, and two white tigers. I'm joining a member of the education team to learn a little bit more about the tigers who live here. Hi Heather, welcome to the Big Cat Sanctuary. My name is Dan. Today we're going to be looking at our tigers. Uh, so in this enclosure just here is Nias. So Nice is a 17-year-old male Sumatran tiger. He spends a lot of his time in bed. Uh, he is one of the older residents here at the sanctuary. He is also the smallest subspecies of tiger, having a lovely kind of dark, rich orange coat to him with the black stripes along the side as well. Um, but yeah, being slightly older, he doesn't spend too much time outside in the colder months. He likes to be tucked away in his nice big straw beds. Uh, and who can blame him, to be fair? <laughs> Nice is the poster boy here at the sanctuary. He has previously bred with us twice, once in 2008 and once with 2012. Both of those breeding times was with Puna, who's our female Sumatran tiger. She's about half his size, a really amazing individual. She's really enthusiastic for hand feeds, uh, one of the most food motivated cats I know. She's also got a very lovely orange coat with the black stripes along the side. Always enthusiastic for log piles and is always keen for a chicken drumstick hand feed. Okay, so now if you'd like to, we can go and meet our two white tigers. Also living here are two white tigers, Bacal and Narnia. So we have two white tigers here at the sanctuary. We have Narnia and Bacal. Narnia is a 15 year old white tiger. A long time ago, she was a part of the circus. Uh, she is no longer. She came down to the Big Cat Sanctuary at just the age of a year old. She's a white tiger. Basically, it's a leucistic individual. So you might have heard of albinoism before. In these animals, it's like a step down. So instead of black stripes, they have brown stripes. Instead of uh, orangey amber eyes, they have this lovely blue uh, eyes to them. Um, Narnia as well loves her top platform. She is always up there watching the world. Uh, she's a little bit of a diva and she does like to look down at everyone from the top of her platform. And then we also do have Bacal who is just resting right in front of us here as well. He's our nine year old white tiger. Uh, he was actually born in France before moving over to Paradise Wildlife Park and then came down to us here at the sanctuary. Again, give him a nice little change of scenery. He is one of the most destructive cats on site. He has previously bitten boomables in half of him, which are very huge plastic pieces of enrichment. And so we are slowly finding things that are and are not bacal proof. But he's a pretty interesting boy. Uh, does like to interact with the public and also likes to interact with his next door neighbor, Amasia. The sanctuary also looks after Amasia who is an Amor tiger. So this is a major, she's an Amur tiger. This is actually the largest subspecies of tiger. So we've gone from the smallest to the largest. The Amur tiger's territory is a lot larger than the Sumatrans. They are a lot bigger and stockier in size, and that does help to conserve energy when they are moving across slightly harsher environments as well. Uh, so a major has done and has come a long way with us here at the sanctuary. So she is quite a feisty individual in comparison to some of the other tigers we do have here, but she has been amazing with the mental stimulation with the training procedures as well. And so what we do here at the sanctuary is we give them a nice bit of training so they're up close with the veterinary health checks uh, and so being able to do that is great for her and it has kind of calm, had a nice calming influence on her as well. So Dan I have to say thank you so much the information that you've relayed to me today has been amazing I feel so much more affinity with these cats especially my favorite Bacal. <laughs> Hello beautiful. Next time we will be learning all about the smaller residents of the big cat sanctuary. So now we're going to go and see Jethro and Kara, our palace's cats. They can be quite tricky to see, so I'm hopefully going to entice them down. Palace's cats were formerly hunted in large numbers by humans for their pelts in the fur trade, but they are now found in protected areas because they actually hunt agricultural pests, so they're quite beneficial for humans now.